Well, hello and good evening everyone. Hope you are doing fine. I know I haven't streamed this week. I streamed only on Monday, but... Yeah, I was actually playing off and on the, the game off stream. Trying to understand things about the mechanics, how it works. See what can I abuse to thrive in uh, the beta. And things like that. And I did discover quite a few interesting things. Um, yeah, tomorrow the, the game is uh, the last day of the beta for the game, so I think tomorrow, uh, tomorrow it will uh, no, we will not be able to play it anymore. So tonight is the night where we will enjoy try to abuse a bit of those mechanics. If all goes well, I'm gonna post this on YouTube as well. We're gonna see. Yeah, hello Nags, Spartan, nice to see you guys here. <clears throat> yeah, there have been a lot of uh, comments about the game. Uh, you know, people have been comparing it to the first game and uh, giving judgments and criticism. A lot of division in the community, I would say. A lot of people liked it, a lot of people didn't like it. Some expected the first game to be a continuation of the first game with mechanics and stuff, but uh, I do feel that the game has much more depth than the Frostpunk one. Especially the more you delve into it, the more uh, you realize. Uh, there are several maps, but uh, unfortunately for the for the beta only the first map is available. And uh, the other thing, uh, you do have various factions, communities, let's say. Uh, there are workers and merchants, lords and thinkers, which are not available in the beta. So we're just playing this machinist and foragers, medium difficulty. There are several modes. Colonization is the one which is available in the beta. Basically, you need to, well, you need to establish a colony of food for fuel and materials, which, well, you cannot really do because the beta ends when you find the fuel colony, but that's a different thing. Uh, let's see. There is a Utopia version, you know, population mode. Prosperity mode, yeah, basically a lot of a lot of mechanics that uh, we will delve into when the game is released in July. So let's begin. <clears throat> yeah, I did have my first uh, view on Monday when we first streamed the game. Yeah, today today we're gonna go a bit more. Uh, in depth about how we can exploit certain things and uh, make the game to work in our advantage. A few things I, th I think I've considered uh, bugs. Hello, Agent Black. No, this is the beta version that uh, was released on Monday for just seven days. So it's ending tomorrow. I had a look at it over the week. Uh, in private, I did stream it on Monday as a first view, but tonight we're gonna go a bit deeper and try to exploit the mechanics of the game and see how we can make it work to our benefit from what I've learned. And I'm pretty sure I haven't learned everything. There are a lot of stuff in the game that you need to learn how to do. So in the beta version, we have the foragers, which are natural survivalists uh, adapted to harsh frostland conditions. The machine is descendants of group that built the initial cities and maintained their machinery. The machinists, uh, from lore-wise, they actually they actually come from the arcs. Uh, so at least lore-wise, we're gonna see. We choose you as the steward. Now you are no longer the captain, you are the steward of the city. To lead the city as overpopulation looms and resources dwindle. We all dream of a better future. What it should look like, this we can't agree on. Tensio stairs and radical rear the heads. Navigating this will be your ultimate challenge. Now the, the issue with the beta is that it's capped at 300 weeks. So unfortunately you cannot play more than 300 weeks. 
I also believe that as well, although I I can tell you that me and you don't share the same opinion as others. A lot of people have uh, judged the game that it's not a spiritual successor to Frostpunk 1. The people were expecting something else. But we'll see, we'll see. We have grown numerous over the years and waited too long to strike out. Our stockpiles are nearly depleted, we have to colonize the Frostland. But first we located some coal deposits in rough terrain around the city. We must send Frost Breaking crews to access them. Okay, let's pause and see a few things. So the city, as you see, is much, much, much bigger in scale. And not only that, when we go into the Frostland, you will see that it's even bigger than what one would expect. Now, some interesting things. <coughs> well, you can choose different factions to play in the beta. Basically, the, the beta is more like the endless mode of the endurance mode of uh, Frostpunk 1. So it's unfair to judge it. Uh, because I've seen a lot of people judging it based on the um, on the story mode. Uh, yeah, Judan's mode has always been less engaging in ways. It was, uh, it is very linear in that sense that you need to do things in a certain way to be able to get through it. Now, interesting enough, uh, this mode actually is much more interesting than the Judan's mode of Frostpunk one. Now, there are a few things that have changed a lot. The uh, reason why I'm explaining it, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna post this video on YouTube when the stream is done and done. Okay, uh, first things first, the economy panel that is in Frostpunk 1 doesn't exist anymore. But you do have the economy tab here on the top, which a lot of people uh, think that is not giving a very clear indication of what's going on but actually it's much clearer and much more in your face albeit a bit smaller but you know if you are producing heat and if you are producing more or less if you have shelter wood materials which is something new you don't have wood and steel anymore you just have materials you have goods which you need to create for people to be happy and people now have a currency which is called heat stamps and they pay to you you know for living in the city and you can use these uh, heat stamps to expand your city and do whatever you need to do yeah <clears throat> so the foragers they are consist of 4100 members they are uh, relying on adaptation and the machines to rely on technical progress now, there are a few things that we can do here, which we're going to abuse the hell out of it during our gameplay tonight. And you will see what I mean later on. And another interesting thing that you will see, we have uh, here on, on top, we have the five uh, important information for the game, which is the cold. And uh, the more this dwells down, the more, you know, it's a problem for the city. We have hunger, which is absent at this point because we have a lot of stockpile for uh, for food. Although it's gonna be last only for 50 weeks, uh, the game runs in weeks instead of days. We have squalor, which is uh, basically how dirty the city is and how deteriorating it is from depending on the uh, on the technologies that you research. We have sickness, uh, which is uh, really is not something which is made clear to me. Eh? Uh, admittedly, I haven't been able to understand how how sickness works and how many hospitals you need. This is something that I have not been able to understand. And you also have crime which increases and decreases depending if you fulfill uh, the requirements of the population and their needs in general. <clears throat> okay. So what is interesting, uh, we do have the generator in the middle with the basic city around it but you can only build up to certain tiles uh, you don't you no longer build in uh, buildings but you build in districts so you have several districts that you are able to to build in the city and each of them has their own benefit and 
And yeah, there are optimal ways to build something and around something and whatever. So we'll delve into it. Now there is this mechanic called frost breaking, which allows you to break the the stiff snow around the city and be able to expand more. Now one thing which is interesting, which is not available in Frostpunk One, is that you can actually build uh, on slanted uh, on slanted surface, which actually makes building the city very interesting in terms of the way you perceive it. <coughs> Excuse me for that. But yeah, uh, this is a beta, and the beta actually has the. Um, uh, has a bit of a tutorial building that you have to follow unfortunately in order to progress through it so the first thing we need to do we need to break the ice up to this uh, coal deposit uh, now if you see around uh, when i start making the frost breaking there is this circle which fills with uh, how many tiles i can use and if i remember correctly it's actually six or seven tiles that i can break or nine something like this but yeah you see it filling up the more you break now it's important that you break tiles up to the center of the source that you want well we will see the thing that is clear for us now is that we don't have 31 shelter. We need 31 shelter for people. Now, shelter is done by housing districts. One housing district you can expand uh, twice, and uh, the basic district offers 20 shelter. And every expansion gives you another five. So, uh, the thing which is interesting though is that uh, to build a district, if you build it adjacent to certain areas like the central district you get benefits and you get uh, reduction in heat requirements so um the thing for this to apply is that you need to fulfill all three of those dots so you can't fulfill just one to get the benefits so if i place one here two dots three dots so that's enough for me to get the benefit for the of the heat i don't really need to expand here to get the benefit this will not give me any additional benefit so the best thing to do is actually to expand uh, backwards and leave this area to be able to have other districts uh, get benefit for that now we will need definitely two districts for this because that's 20 plus 20 which will give us 40 so we will have some surplus in uh, in building uh, in housing the other thing that we do need as you see we have uh, very little material input so we do need an extraction district over here which now it's a very basic uh, district that will allow us to get uh, materials and I will also build, even though it seems that I'm going a bit fast on this, I will build a food district. There we go. Now, unlike Frostpunk 1, uh, you don't need to build the roads and everything. The, the roads are being built automatically by you. Uh, by the game, so we're gonna uh, start the simulation and see how this goes. Other things noticeable, we do have uh, the weather temperature forecast here. There is a thing called the whiteout now, which is the storms that come every few, well, every few years, I wouldn't say weeks, because the game passes in weeks. We do need an extraction district here to be able to deal with the coal uh, deficit at this point. And I do need to expand 
my my housing area uh, twice to be able to place two research uh, centers so that I may, I'm able to do research Now extracting frozen forest material will not give you a lot of material, but at least it's something to get through it. Yeah, we do need, unfortunately, to expand it immediately. Uh, so we're gonna expand it like this. We're gonna keep this area in order to create a secondary district later on. Uh, I'm gonna expand this as well. Now, if I expand here, we're gonna get some squalor, which will make people sick which we don't want that, so we're gonna expand like this. This eventually will get destroyed in a few weeks. Uh, extraction will only last for 84 weeks. Yes, there is an upgrade, but unfortunately it's not available in the beta. Uh, basically how heat works uh, in this game uh, the heat production you do depends on how much coal you you have available. So when the game understands that you need more heat level, it will it will increase the coal consumption. As long as you make or have enough coal, it will keep the output on what is required to keep the city warm. There we go. Scraping the barrel with heat from the generator and shelter for everyone, we are safe from the cold. But as the city go grows, it will not be enough. The machinists and foragers have different opinions on how to improve the city further. We need a place to develop ideas for the future. Expand the housing district. Yeah, we already did that. So the way to place buildings, uh, what happens in, in the game. Let me pause and explain. Every every district that you build can handle, uh, depending, can handle one or two buildings, specialized buildings. Now, these buildings can refer to the extraction, extraction process of the district that you placed, a depot, or something else entirely. In the case of housing districts, you need to expand the districts at least once to get one building slot. And if you expand it the second time, you will get two building slots. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do now, research. Research is very important for Frostpunk, both this and the other one. Now, and the mechanic works the same. By holding shift, you can actually place multiple buildings at the same time. Now, as you see, I'm actually running low on uh, heat stamps. I'm getting 11 per week. But this will probably, hopefully, will, uh, will get better in the future as we move along now the other thing that i want to make i really want to make an industrial district to start fulfilling uh, uh, fulfilling some of the goods uh, requirements for people and uh, when we do the research uh, we will be able to build a coal uh, mine here uh, we have a slot for an empty building yeah, so let's wait until this is built we're not gonna rush the game, we're just gonna keep it on play to enjoy as much as possible. 300 weeks actually go fly by like no time. Now we are making less food. Uh, we are actually depleting our food uh, materials. We're making uh, 100 by 150 from the extraction district, which is exactly the demand of what we need. But yeah, let's see. Different ideas, communities, yeah. Now, the difference with this, uh, with how the tech tree works, is actually now an idea tree. It's not called a tech tree. So you don't have the researchers in, uh, in a linear mode, but more like a, a branch of how things go. And as you see, uh, this actually expands all the way to here that we cannot see it right now. So there are a lot of technologies to, to research. There is an economy tab, which also helps with uh, Hello Fran, which also helps with uh, building better facilities. 
Yeah, and as you see, there are a lot, a lot of options that unfortunately, hello Charlie, unfortunately are not available in the in the beta. And yeah, we also have weapons which is not available in the preview. We have prisons or something here which is not available in the preview. Yeah, and many other things. Yeah, but what we need to do first, unfortunately, we need to research something about the coal. So here we can decide to go with one, uh, with the ideas of one uh, function or the other. Uh, the foragers want to make a dust coal mine, which gives us 150 coal output. There is slight increase in, de in disease, but uh, it requires 300, 400 workforce while the machinists. They want us to make a more efficient coal, uh, coal mine, which increases the squalor. So um squalor uh, wears down districts so if we don't handle this in time we will actually need to repair them in time and we actually need 60 materials in order to maintain the infrastructure so, so this is the double-edged knife so you need to decide what you want to do now efficiently wise this is the better option now, in the future, when the game is released, we can do runs with going extreme on one side or extreme on the other side. But tonight, we're gonna try and keep things a bit balanced, I think. We're gonna develop the idea, and this is gonna start researching. We need 12 weeks of research. Now, uh, in the meantime, what I need to do, I need to expand and do a, and do a district here for industrial in order to be able to make goods. Now I do need uh, 50 heat stamps in order to be able to uh, use the frost break area. So we need to wait a week or so to get it up. There we go. And a few things that I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna break this and this and this and this. And I'm gonna keep this tile empty for a reason that I will show you later. There we go. Other things noticeable, we do have here the tension meter, which tells you how much tension there is in the city. Now the devs did mention that you can actually cause a riot and cause the city to fall, which nobody has been able to to make in the beta so far. The uh, thing is that 300 weeks are not enough for you to be able to fulfill it. It's extremely hard. I've been trying for a few days to to do that and uh, I'm always at the brink of making it but yeah certain mechanics don't help with that and you have the city trust which uh, depending how much uh, how much the functions trust you uh, you will uh, gain favor for this and they will be more uh, uh, willing to do your bidding okay now we do need to wait because the industrial district costs 120 heat stamps, which we, are no, we don't have at the moment, but we will have in a while. Yeah, let's wait a bit. This is a time of waiting. But yeah, the map is really, really, really big. Other things are noticeable. There are actually three waste, waste stations. There is one here, one here, and one here. And uh, later on, when we explore the Frostland, you will see that you can do many interesting things with this. Yeah, the game received a lot of criticism about the UI. Uh, why it's not dark, why it's white. Well, uh, there is actually a dark mode on the UI. When you get the tension up, fully this turns black and you realize that the city is going to shit. And, uh, and uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure there is a reason for everything. Yeah, personally, I would have liked if they were slightly bigger. They are, they are a bit too small for my liking. This is, for example, is very big uh, in comparison. It's very clear and big what you can place and do and whatever. 
same with this but the buttons here on the bottom are uh, quite small yeah they're a bit too small uh of course it's uh, the beta we don't know what will be improved by the time that uh, uh by the time the the game is released stockpile is depleted yes i know i know but you need to wait i'm doing research for this Yeah, we can fast forward, but I don't want to... 300 weeks, see we fast forward, go go by in no time. Now, the other thing that you see, you see the progress. When this reaches 100%, the more people will join the city and you will have more workforce. The workforce that we have now, 1,800 available, it's... Trust me, it's not enough. Let's see, we need 120 stamps to be able to to build uh, the industrial district. Even though it will not be producing, still it will not be producing enough goods. It will be producing close to being enough. And this will allow us to get a few more hit stamps now. This is a bit of a drawback at the beginning of the game, but eventually you realize that uh, although th these are not an issue. Now we are producing less heat than needed. What we can do, we can actually overdrive the generator and bring it close to it. The generator overdrive works nothing like Frostpunk 1. Frostpunk 1 was like one day of overdrive and the generator would explode. These actually can go for weeks and weeks without breaking down. Yeah. And with this, I hope we're going to be able to deal with it. Okay, we're going to make an industrial district at this point, so... What I want to do, I want to place one here, two, three. I, there is a reason I may, I'm avoiding that tile, which will become obvious later. Okay, we did do the research. Uh, we need to construct it. Unfortunately, we need to research more stuff. Uh, hot houses is a good thing. Uh, we still have uh, two options, as you see. Now, uh, for uh, for coal, we actually went with the machinist ways. For hot houses, which is our food uh, supply, we will go with the foragers because they provide more food output. I'm gonna wait. Laws will be chosen in a, f in a while, when the time comes. We need to build a council in the middle. Yeah, you do build uh, districts in this case, because the game is huge. If you, if you had to build this whole city as a single building, trust me, it will be very, very, very painful to, to deal with. Now, we do need uh, 80 hit stamps in order to be able to to put the coal mine here. Now, the moment we place the coal mine, we will be able to pass loss, but I do want to make some more research uh, beforehand. Uh, the game can run on the overdrive for a few weeks. I don't mind. I do want to start the research on... Uh, on the foot because this will start going down in a while let's see one more week there we go now we are producing more goods we only have six deficit we can fulfill later on but now you see that we are making 15 uh, hit stamps per week instead of uh, 11 <coughs> So let's start with the hot houses, go with the foragers way. They will be pleased. They will be happy. And when they are happy, we're gonna we're gonna dry out economy from them. You can actually request funds. Now to request funds from the factions you need to have them on favorable terms. So when they become favorable, we're just gonna get those hit stamps in order to be able to expand more.
Yeah, we do need four weeks or so in order to be able to make it. Let's wait a bit and enjoy the view. Yeah. I've been seeing people complaining about uh, optimization and how the game runs. And to be honest, I'm running it on a measly Ryzen 7 1800X and GTX 1070 and it's running smoothly as hell without issues. Yeah, don't expect too much to happen, Fran. Just be a few things here and there, but there, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> no, it's not yet in the game. It's coming. Uh, it's coming soon, TM. There we go. So now we're gonna place the mine here. And the moment we place it, we're gonna be making more coal than uh, what we need. And this will be fine. Yeah, when this is built, we're gonna, do, we're gonna turn off the overdrive to not uh, have issues. <laughs> there we go with the new mine we have enough coal output to last us a while yes that's what you think Yet differences between communities remain, even under the previous leader, plans have existed to establish a council to settle such differences. More pressing problems always delayed them. The time has come, Stuart, the people want a say in how the city is run. Yeah, so we do need to build uh, a building here called the council. And we need 80 heat stamps in order to make it. Let's turn off the overdrive. We don't want people to toast. We are making 300 coal a day a week. For a day or how the game calculates it anyway. Now I think interesting which is kind of mentioned but not really mentioned. There are certain uh, abilities passive abilities that you can run between uh, inside districts you have emergency shifts and half shifts if you are producing a lot you can actually put people on half shifts and manage your uh, your economy in a way stockpiling yeah different type of depots we know we know but those are coming later on Uh, it would be nice to expand this, but I don't want the cancel. I don't, I don't want to be able to get uh, more economy and dry people out of things. Okay, let's build the cancel here in the middle. You see people rushing. Another complaint people have is why the, the people are rushing instead of working and they forget that the game actually passes in weeks instead of days. So it's only natural for people not to be working in the streets, but running up and down like flash there we go uh, we need to frost break all the way here the moment we get hit stamps to be able to to get stuff done and done There we go. Now the laws are available. The first council session will take place. This is a council. Uh, these are the people from the community that uh, want to have a saying on what laws uh, you can pass. Now something interesting, which is not uh, uh, which is not the same like Frostpunk one. Uh, here you have the the functions which you can hover over and tell you their uh, ideas for the city. How they want the city to be run and not only that you can actually 
zoom in to every every delegate and uh, see information about them this guy was bullied in school yeah life is hard only trust people with hobbies yeah uh, these are and uh, you will find a few very interesting ones but yeah now what we want to pass first there are a few things uh, there is community service uh, let, let's have a look at the loss first so we have the survival uh, session section uh, these are not all the laws which will be available in the final game and most of them are actually locked behind the research or or events so you are we don't even know how they they work we have the economy tab with certain laws and you have the society tab with certain laws yeah and there is another one which we cannot see now but you'll get what i mean okay the first thing that we want to to do is actually be able to get more hit stamps and to get more hit stamps we actually have three three laws that we need to pass first thing that we need to pass is service exceptions which everyone must volunteer their time outside of work as needed unless they purchase an exception from the city now I have been trying this off stream and it seems that at least at least the first couple of laws you know you can uh, you can f or you can kind of pass the law without forcing delegates to without negotiating to the delegates even though they are not uh, fully for so we're gonna try this if it fails it will fail but yeah I'd rather not negotiate and promise something at this point so let's vote and see what will happen. We need 51 delegates to vote for it. The delegates have spoken. The law takes effect. There we go. This law is passed. So now we will be able to get more hit stamps from service ex uh, exceptions now. The law goes on to cooldown. We have nine weeks uh, to assess it. We do need to break the to force break all the way here in order to access the logistics to be able to build the logistics. There we go. But in the meantime, we do want to have some research uh, done and done. Let's wait a while until this goes up. There we go. Now, one thing that we want to get is something which is here. Uh, getting this will allow us to get, uh, will, will allow us to exploit the Frostland scouting because eventually there is a bug. I think it's a bug in the, in the beta that allows you to scout every location for free. So we want to exploit that tonight. Yeah, so let's uh, move towards that. Now we don't need to wait for frost breaking. We need 50 hit stamps. We actually need 100 hit stamps. Now I do think I do think that if I place if I place the bio waste uh, this if I place this uh, I will be able to get hit stamps from these guys they will be pleased because I I put something that they wanted and then I can get funds out of them and be able to do stuff so so yeah We need to break all the way here, so I do think we will need to break twice. There we go.
this only has 50 weeks of uh, resource remaining so we have to wait on that as well we will get a few more people well actually around 2000 people in a while i do wonder if they are actually they can actually fit what we have the lack of law regulating charge is causing tension to rise throughout the city yes it's fine it's fine we will regulate the children as well we will arrange for them to work in decent uh, decent jobs Let's see, I do want to place this so that I get favor from these guys and and get uh, and make them pay for it. I do want to request the funds from them. If you get them to favorable, you can actually get 246 hit stamps for free, kind of. Well, it's not free, they get upset, but yeah. What's a game without abusing mechanics? Yeah, but I do want to pass the two laws which allow me to get uh, more hit stamps from them. Uh, people need to pay to live in the city. There we go. So let's uh, build this. And we can pass a new law at this point. Again, we're gonna go to economy, basic necessities, pay the essentials. People need to pay for it. Now, we can actually try again to pass it like this without uh, negotiating. You can negotiate, you can actually see uh, what people want. We don't want you. Can we negotiate with you, with foragers? Grand agenda, blah, 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 blah. No. Let's try and pass it without uh, without negotiating with them, and we'll see. If it passes, it passes. The Lord okay, the law has been rejected. The thing is, if you actually try to pass it twice or thrice, people start to complain that you're trying to pass the same law again and again. But that's fine, that's fine. We can actually expand this if we want. Or even better, we can build something that I want to build here in order to get more workforce out of them. Let's see. You are not happy that we actually place your building? God damn it. You should have been happy about it. Now, we do need 150 hit stamps in order to make a logistics. Now, we are making... Uh, what is our food situation? Yeah. We are balanced in uh, what we are making. There is 160 demand and we make 160. Increases relationships. We want to research scout training. Again, foragers. So that people are uh, happy and happier. We do need to be making more material. Uh, what I want to make, and it's one of the reasons why I, I kept this tile empty. This will allow me to have uh, 400 less workforce requirement because people can actually go from their houses to the to their work much faster by air. Yeah. 
So that is one thing we want to place. We'll get more people in the city in a while. The lack of law regulating outside this is decreasing population growth. Yes, it's fine, it's fine. I understand, but some things will happen in due time. Yeah, but the size of the city is massive, man. Yeah, I said it. I do like the fact that you can actually build on this location, so you can actually build and vertically. And is yeah, please the fix it. Yes, please fix the automaton. You do see automatons every now and there. They are they are roaming down the streets, doing things what they need to do. Uh, in order to not have uh, children dying, we need to pass a law, but uh, for the time being, we will not. So the moment this is built, uh, we'll see our workforce being uh, higher. There we go. We now have 900 people available for working. Now uh, we're gonna try to pass the law again. Basic necessities. This I uh, will try to vote it again without uh, forcing the delegates, without negotiating. The delegates have spoken. There we go. The law takes effect. Okay. We will be getting more and more hit stamps now. 18 per week. Now, one interesting thing, when you research something which has to do with laws, uh, you can see that you are researching a law, uh, a law that they can be passed in the council. This automatically gets placed in the next uh, council meeting. So we need to wait a few weeks in order to be able to build our logistic uh, district here. We need 150 heat stamps for that. And we do need to worry a bit about the materials. <sighs> but in the meantime, we will put another research to be done. There we go. Now, uh, this is what we want to come and research in the end. This will allow us to get a free scouting. Uh, there is a bug currently that if you have two scout headquarters, your, uh, your scouting ability becomes zero. And we want that. Yeah, in the meantime, we're going to research the, the sawmills. Uh, let's teach the search from the foragers, even though we are not going to use them. Uh, I do want to research it because we have to go towards ironworks. Ironworks are here where we have 3 million resource and we do need to get that. Now there is a button here that is very hidden, you cannot even see it, that you ex can explore the loss. So this is the, this is the one that we're gonna gonna push next time and these people will be very happy while these people are not so happy but yeah that's life we will get more people in perhaps the prudent thing to do will actually be to expand the districts a bit more one two three 
and let's expand you as well one two three okay very nice very good we don't want people to be without uh, houses when they arrive We will, uh, five children died, but that's a sacrifice we are willing to overcome. Yeah, we need to, we didn't have a lot for the children. We prefer the economy instead of prosperity. The economy is always better. Okay, we have 28 weeks, we need to understand the cooldown because the next law of, uh, will be forcefully will be the pathfinding uh, will be the one that we research, will be this uh, scout training and then we have to pass the childhood so people, uh, the trust goes up and people are happy about it Now this is almost depleted, so we do need to spread our wings over here. One day there we go we already have 450 51 people so let's vote for it this uh, this law will pass by definition the proposed law has been approved there we go now we're gonna request funds from these guys there is uh, no reason for me not to do we will lose a bit of trust but we will get uh, 335 hit stamps which allows us now to do a few things we can build the logistic district here and we will build one extraction district here when the time comes when this is depleted completely not now Although people will be coming in in a while. Next law we have to pass is uh, something related to childhood. Because we have feral children in the city. I also want to expand this if I can. But I need to frost break. So let's uh, frost break here if we can. But we need the workforce which is coming. Okay, we have nine weeks. This will be fine. This will be fine. I really like of how the district slowly, you know, they form and they seem to be constructed. And not only that, having the roads automatically linking to uh, to the other districts. Some people complain that they would have liked to be able to alter the way the roads seem because they seem a bit too random in how they are placed, but. Me, I don't mind, yeah, for example, this, there is kind of no reason for this to be going like this, but I guess, I guess we will see when the time comes. Is this frost broken? Yes. We can't frost break another area, so. There we go. 
we need to be making more coal, more everything. Another research building will help at this point, although we don't have the workforce. When we pass the law for children, we will have the workforce. This is what we need to scout. Survival is headquarters. What happens? Exploration speed is marginally increased. Exploration cost is extremely decreased. Yes. Basically, placing two of these makes you scout the frostlands in uh, in uh, no time. And we will place it when the time comes. Okay, now this is the interesting part of the game. The Frostland is huge compared to Frostpunk 1. There's so many areas to explore. Um, there's so many outposts that you can place. There are roads that you can build to lead back to your city and probably to lead to other stuff as well. Now... Let's see, we're gonna explore this first to be able to get a few more, uh, a few more um, food, a bit more food. Yes, we will set laws for the outsiders, so making promises and keeping to them actually helps with building trust. And uh, this is the same the same thing like what Frostpunk 1 was doing, you know, if you kept a promise you had hope up. In this case it's trust and squalor that you need to manipulate. And you can actually manipulate this very easily with uh, making promises to people, funding projects, etc. For example, these guys probably will want us to build one more, uh, one more grinding coal mine, which is what they they research themselves. Um, I do think I do think I want one more uh, research center, but I need more work workforce, which is coming. Uh, by the time that is done and done. So 30 weeks for this, 20 weeks for this, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. Now, these factions don't give you any other benefits be besides uh, funds, but the more extremist factions that will form in a while, which is gonna be the Icebloods and the Technocrats. If you keep them happy, they can actually do certain tasks for you. For example, going on, going on hunting trips or uh, helping with research to reduce the research time and so on and so forth. Yeah, I did say I wanted to expand this to be making more coal. There's no point placing a sawmill here because this will be depleted in a while. The frozen forests are not good resource uh, deposits. It's best to go on iron ores. In this case, we have two on this map. A 
Yeah, there are so many things to do on the game. So many things to do. And not enough time to do it in the beta, unfortunately. I wish it was longer, but it's not. Yeah, you see Squalor is actually going uh, going up because we don't have enough material to keep uh, things uh, regulated. But hopefully that will change in a while. Now, when you get funds, this goes on a cooldown. The uh, thing is, it does, the game doesn't tell you how much is the cooldown, so I'm not sure how many weeks we need to wait for it to be to come back up. Yeah. Okay, let's go and pass a law. We did promise that we're gonna power a puzzle of four outsiders and also for the childhood. Now the first thing we're gonna do is about the childhood. Uh, we can uh, research uh, family apprenticeship or mandatory school. Mandatory school will help with the research but lower our hit stamp income which we don't want at this point. Now we can actually vote it of the bad or we can actually negotiate. Let's see if we negotiate what we can do. We can grant them an agenda, we can actually demolish, no we don't want to demolish. Let's see with these guys, grand agenda, demolish, repeal, no. We're gonna vote it, we're gonna vote it like this, hopefully it will pass, if it doesn't pass then it's, it's their heads on the ground. Yeah, it will pass. Very nice, very good. We have increased trust. We have uh, a bit more uh, workforce. Uh, we do need to wait for hit stamps to come. I do want to make an extraction district over here. By the time we build that, this will be depleted, so it's fine. What are we researching? We're researching scouts, headquarters. Yeah, I did say I wanted to place one more research institute somewhere where we can. Yeah, let's place one more there. That's another 15% uh, research speed. get population every 100 weeks if I'm not mistaken unless you have a law which uh, helps you get it faster uh, this will help us with the research now this will yeah now it went down to 15 weeks from 24 very nice very good there was a gong there but I have no idea why that gong was there Can we actually expand this? Yes, we can. Let's expand it here to get more scouts. A new voice, Ice Bloods. Thank you. So this is one of the extremist factions that forms uh, in this uh, beta. Yeah, so we have the Ice Bloods. They are favorable because they they come of the foragers. They believe in adaptation, in merit and tradition, and they want to pass these laws. So yeah, we're gonna see. In the meantime, we can send you on a hunting trip to get us some food and also request funds to get some uh, heat stamps. 
Can we get more? No, we need to wait from you. More funds, yes, definitely more funds. Hello, Agent Black. Yes, absent workforce. Yes, I know, I know. Hello, Obsidian. Yes, we do need to build one more uh, coal mine at this point. Do we make him more coal? I think we need to pass this about the outsiders. We need to regulate them. We need more. Cutthroat economy paid essentials. Now that we are charging for essentials, some unemployed families are unable to afford, to afford basic necessities. Too bad for you. Get up some time to get a haircut and find a job. Yes, definitely. This is Bollocks Man who work is so passive. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is hard to please anyone. Basically, the game doesn't expect you to please anyone. You can't try to go in a balanced uh, society, kind of. It has its merits and benefits and disadvantages going either way. Uh, I don't want these guys to come. Oh, there we go. We have the law available. We're gonna go in survival. No, not there, we know. Economy outsiders. We want productive outsiders only. We want people who can contribute. And this is solely supported by the ice blots. We can propose it. There's 28, four, only nine, I guess, and 63 hesitants. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it will pass without, uh, without, without us needing to do anything more. No need to negotiate. The there we go. Trust rises. Thank you very much. Can we actually request funds from you? Come on. How long do you need? Now, one interesting thing is that if you fund projects for uh, for these guys, they are able to research and do stuff that you uh, for you extra. I have not really understood how this works uh, precisely, but yeah, it is a benefit. The thing is that it's best to fund projects for factions which have low membership count, because that costs you less. Yeah, I'm gonna do a trick later. I'm gonna show you something later when the time comes. They keep looking at my hands every day. They come and pester me about my work. Yes, you need to work. Icebloods want to steer the city closer to their ideals. We know. We know. Keep doing your research and everything will be fine. Trust me. Wait, didn't I send my scouts out to scout something? Why was it cancelled? I'm pretty sure I did activate this before. I need that. Yeah, this will be depleted in a few weeks. Mm -hmm. There we go. 1,602 more people living am among us. Thank you. We need to make an extraction district here. Thing is, I need to keep this. I need to keep. I need to frost break this first. A 
as flash break that. Workforce is limited, yes, I know. The city population grows, yes. Do we have we have enough shelter? This is scarce. We need to do something about it. We will do something about it soon, TM. We will research the... Oh, you no longer are happy about our ruling? Don't worry, you will be. Is almost depleted. There we go. Gonna make an extraction district here. We're gonna leave that tile empty for uh, to make the same thing like we did here. We placed an air hub right in the middle which reduces the work uh, workforce requirements. We need to fund some projects for these guys so that they're happy. We can grant them an agenda, we can make a promise. Let's see what promise they want. Repeal, destroy bioways, drum hothouse. Promise to research. Yes, we can uh, do this. The reason why I can do this, I can actually destroy this. And then I can build it again after they're happy. Uh, these are one other uh, small exploit that you can do with the mechanic. You promise them, they get happy, and then you build it again, and they are still happy. We are ruled by a sage. We must spread the skewer's wisdom. Yes, you must. If all join us together, we shall ensure that Stuart's willing done. Yes, my will will be done. There you go. Now that you are happy, please give us some funds. Okay. We're gonna fund your project and you are happy. Now, please. No, we cannot get it. God damn it. Yeah. Well, and now we can build it. What is it? Food, logistics, this will be... Ah, uh, no, we need to wait until that. Uh, let's build it back up so we uh, keep making food. Doesn't matter that they are... Uh... Yeah, so this is a small exploit that I found out that you can do in the game. Okay, are you almost out? You are almost out. Very nice, very good. Okay, this is out. We need to delete this. Let's demolish it and then let's build uh, an extraction district here when we have the heat stamps. The wise use of public funds. Yes, we can actually pass a law if we want. Uh, a good law will be to actually mass produce goods or durable goods. This will actually pass easier because we have... Uh, because we have uh, the support of both of these uh, factions. What will the machines want? No, we cannot. Forget it. Just vote. Just vote and get it done and done. And we will be happy. The delegates have spoken. The law takes effect. You see, yeah, there are a lot of tricks that you can do with this. Yes, it is blatant favoritism. 
Okay, what else we want to research at this point? We do this, we want to research iron works, definitely. Uh, silic iron works will be good. Uh, let's go with the forages because they are supporting and we want them to be favorable. Let's develop the idea. When this is demolished, we will get uh, more uh, funds. What do you want? Yes, we will research beautiful youth, unproductive domain maintenance, so weather adjusted shifts. What can we research? What is, will be to the benefit? Tradition, merit, or adaptation? Well, we can go with merit. This will reduce the requirements for... Uh, for materials in the districts. This will give us more workforce. Yeah, let's do this. I think is we need to research this. How many weeks we have? 59 weeks. I think we will be done. Okay, there we go. We can't harvest that, which we don't want to do that right now. We want to keep exploring stuff. Here we find this. Here what do we find? Food. Yeah, let's send an expedition this way. And send an expedition. Can we send an expedition? Not enough resources. We need one more scout. Yeah. <laughs> so now we have rallies that are happening in the city. The Eisenblatt are actually voicing their uh, their opinion about our rule and everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to drown you out. I don't want this. Yeah, machinist and uh, tech machinist and technocrats, which will form eventually, are mostly about the technological advancement. Uh, we don't have material sign, no, but we will have soon. TM. Okay, let's build an extraction district here. Remember, I said I'm gonna leave one uh, one tile. Wait, I already built the extraction district. I'm an idiot. I just want to expand it then. Okay, let's expand it this way. And how much we need to build the logistics? We do want to build the headquarters twice, which will allow us to just spam uh, scouting on the map with no issues. Let's see, let's see. Come on. Yeah, the cooldown on this is not clear. I would I would have liked if there was a cooldown when you can actually request it again. Our deposits are full. We can actually ask these guys to go on half shifts. Which will make it uh, lower. So then we get more people. Hello, Akiofru. Nice to see you here. Okay, let's see. We can contrast, construct one survivalist headquarter. Technocrats have formed in opposition to the ice bloods. Very nice, very good. Now these guys they believe in progress, equality and reason. They want to pass this laws. We can actually pass supported quarantine. If we want. Just to keep them happy. Now they are in uh, 
opposing territory, so they will cause a bit of turmoil in the in the city. If we let them, I'm actually I have actually enjoyed it thoroughly throughout the week off stream. Tonight I thought to make a stream just showing a bit how you can exploit a few of the mechanics in the game, like you could do in Frostpunk One. I do think that there is much more depth than people give it credit, especially with the scouting and frostlands. There we go. Okay. Can we actually scout this now? Yes, we can. We need three. We need 12 for that. We need 12 for that. Yeah, the moment we play the second one, we won't need to... We won't have a cost and we can actually spam and fill this with scouting areas. Yes, wide out is coming, we know, we know. Yeah. Yeah, we can pass now the... Um, well, food additives will help, but not at this point. We can pass the supported quarantine. Although not everyone is... Uh, is for. Technocrats want this. Machines probably will be the best thing to... to do. How many weeks I have to grant the agenda, though? Mm. Oh, we don't want to demolish that. Is there anything else we can actually... Pass. Besides that, funerals we can pass. Harvesting funerals. Disease is slightly yes. Let's propose this. Let's leave it to chance. Why not? The eyes have it. Yeah, believe it or not, you can actually you, you can actually find the uh you can actually uh, open cannibalism in this game as well it is doable you just need to starve your people to death which is something that was very hidden in the first game it was available on release and then they they hid it behind the requirement because people were uh, were too upset that you could actually pass a law to eat dead people separated families yeah we can relax the law to allow productive families to come in uh, we don't have enough uh, yeah 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 it is doable come on can i get the funds from you god damn it how long do you need let's see i need to construct a second one of this very nice very good Then we need to expand this way. Yeah, I can actually expand from now. We need 80 hits. I do have the 80 hits. I'm the game. What the hell are you talking about? There you go. I'm gonna place it smack in the middle there and get uh, 400 people uh, able to work. Okay, now that this is built, now the interesting thing about this 
We can actually scout these with no cost. 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 I'm pretty sure this is a bug and is not intended to be like this, but since it's available in the in the beta, why not? Let's go, 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 everyone. Just scout everything. There we go. Now there is an arrow here which shows you where you need to go in order to find the the permanent uh, source of fuel. Which if you find it, you get an ending. But I think we will uh, try and get the timeouts in this run. What I do want though, I do want the funds. I do want the funds and I do want the resources to be depot for coal. Okay, we explored this. What did we find? Okay, we have food that we can harvest here. Yes, go here, get the people. Let's see. You can go here and uh, discover the food. Go here and discover the coal. Go here and discover the food. Yes, as you see, this is very dumb. I'm pretty sure it's not intended, but you can actually take it. <laughs> Basically, you need to place at least two of these and uh, you get free scouting on the map. Yeah, we can actually expand this if we want. Although we need to wait until this is built. Yes, this is the idea of the Okay, we need to research and productive do maintenance, otherwise those people will be very upset. There is a small icon which says if you have an active promise to someone. So yeah, unproductive do maintenance, please research. We need six weeks to research it. I do need to place a few more districts, people will be coming and I will not, not have space for them. Can we actually make a promise to you? No, I don't want to. Hit demand is increased. Yes, I know. I know. Oh, this doesn't have enough coal to last us forever, but something that we need to endure for now. We do need to build the silica iron works. Techno cracks, ignore for now. Yeah. Ignore for now. Okay, there is a coal outpost here. We can uh, go here. Let's explore this. Let's explore. As I said, this is very dumb. You should not be able to do this. But the game allows you to, so why not? Okay, I do want to get some people back in the city if possible. Okay. What we can do now, we need to we need to actually break upwards because we will need the second uh, coal reserve, and I don't want to break up uh, here to be able to get food. There we go. Uh, you can keep uh, protesting there. I don't mind. Can you give us funds, please? No. Can you give us funds? Yes, you can. Here, get some funds. You too can get funds if you if we want, but we don't want in the meantime. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, new law available. We can uh, propose mass produced goods. No, we actually have durable goods in action. Uh, food addictives, foraged addictives will be good because uh, they have synergy with, uh, with our existing tech. The votes are in, the measure passes. Basically what happens with the loss, uh, for example, if you research the... I'll explain. If you research, for example, the building for food extraction, which is based on the on the foragers' uh, request, and you also pass a law which is in favor of the foragers, you actually get a double benefit in... Uh, in uh, you actually get a double benefit in uh, in uh, the materials that you get so that's a nice little interesting thing uh, we are making a lot more coal than what we need at this point i do want to make a fuel depot here even though a goods uh, a goods material will be better. I do need to keep our coal up and running because heat demand will uh, uh, will be up. Okay, this is uh, the, we need more material. We don't make enough material, but we will be making soon. TM. Uh, do I have? Uh, yeah, I have the ironworks, but I do need heat stamps. Can I request funds from you? Not yet. There we go. What else can we do? Oh yeah, it's uh, stopped because this is damaged. There we go. Hello, chicken squad. Yes, of course I'm enjoying the game. Okay, what else can we research? We can research hospitals, we can research goods factories, we can research railways, which we won't need to in this. Uh, we can research filtration towers, which will help us with squalor. Uh, significantly decreased, decreased. Yeah, let's see which one, which. You have more heat demand, you have less heat demand. Yeah, let's go with foragers develop the idea <laughs> yes i know i know don't worry we will uh, we will sort it out we will sort it out Okay. Yes, we know that there is an ongoing protest, but what to do? Selavi, you can actually cause a riot in the city. Every part about it. Well, good question. Is too much to to say that there is a favorite part? I do think that uh, the frostland is. Uh, more interesting than it seems you can make uh, i'll explain a bit later about this but yeah i do like the grandeur of the city how big you can actually make it yeah we do want to wait until there we go let's repair this there we go yeah unfortunately we lost all our scouting thing yeah, so we need uh, to restart this. Yeah, let's go. Go here, go here, go here. As I said, this is dumb. I'm pretty sure this is not supposed to be... You are not supposed to be able to do it, but since we can uh, exploit the... Since we can exploit the better, why not? 
Uh, we will find and keep going more and more. Yeah, I do want to get the people back though, if I can. Yeah, we can actually set up the food outpost here to harvest. And this to harvest. So that we do get the uh, food back. In the meantime. to make the iron, the silk iron works in order to be making more material. We are not making enough material right now. And we will need one more uh, housing district, definitely. Can we get funds? No. Can we get funds? No. I'll actually make a promise to you in order for you to stop uh, harassing our society here. Yeah, I'm not so much worried about food. Because this eventually will, uh, will go away. But I'm, I am worried about the coal. I'm productive to maintenance, there we go. Let's negotiate with uh, the machinists, so with foragers. Nope, we don't want to negotiate with you. With you. We can actually do this. The boats are in. The measure passes. Very nice, very good. Can we frost break a bit more here? Yes, we can. There we go. We do need to make a food uh, district there. But coal, coal will be a problem in a few weeks when this hits. So we do need to be making more coal. I'm gonna put these guys on half shifts for now. And we're still making more coal, but it's fine. We get the uh, workforce up. Let's see, we need to research. Worker shifts. What did we promise? We promise machine adjusted shifts, okay. I promise this guys, yes, develop the idea. Can we get funds? No. Can we get funds? Nope. Let's make a food district, I think, first. Doesn't matter, they can keep that district occupied. We don't care about that for the time being. We have enough trust.
We do need to fill, uh, to put a filtration tower somewhere, which will help with squalor, reducing the squalor. Uh, it's in housing, here it is. We need 153 hit stamps though. What do they contribute to the city? Who do they think they are to act like they own it? Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Let people uh, be whoever they want to be. We have enough food for the until the yeah, we have enough food for quite a while actually 223 weeks and the game ends in 300 weeks so I don't worry too much about food but we are gonna make a district here just to keep it operating for the time being there we go we do want to Place a silica iron works here, but I need funds. I need people to give me money. There we go. What else can we research at this point? Something that will be beneficial in our survival. Uh, we can research housing block, which will help a bit with the hospitals, will be good. Yeah, these guys who uh, were skeptical, diseases significantly decreased. Yes, teaching hospital. Yes, let's research that. Why not? Oh, we can get funds. Yes, give us funds. Can you give us funds as well? No. But now that we have the funds, we can actually place a new extraction district here. To get more coal. And we can actually... Well, we cannot fund projects. Can we make a promise to these guys? Or can we make... Yeah, we can research liberated youth. Yes, we can research that. So generous of them to donate. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know, I know. It is wise for Stuart to listen to them. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the game goes more and more in depth about things that uh, yeah, some people are happy, some people are not happy. Yeah, let's see, what did we find? Okay, we can't get these people back, 1,600 people back in the city. We can't take the coal, but we need... Uh, uh, we need uh, we need uh, frostland teams which we don't have. As I said, the exploit is just to explore, not to get the resources back. Yeah, but we're gonna explore everything. Yeah, as I said, you are not supposed to be able to do this. Yeah, in the meantime, I want to place also one uh, one filtration tower. But we need people, we need people, and I will need, definitely I will need one more housing district. Let's place one more here. Place one more here because uh, people will be out of shelter when they come. Let's see, we are making more food. We do need to, to make this... Uh, the iron works thing because uh, we will be getting much more output from here. Okay, you are expanded. What did we find? We found a blown wart. Yes, we found people. We found something and we found something. 
Okay, very nice, very good. Yeah, we can actually stop this if we want. But in the meantime, we won't. Yeah, let's keep exploring. Yeah, so basically how to do this, you, you need to research a thing called... Uh, I think called uh, Scout headquarter Headquarters. You need to receive the Survivalist Headquarters. And when you place two down, Scouting becomes a free thing for you. Yeah, liberated youth. We need to wait until this is done and done. Machine adjusted ships. Aha. Okay. Let's see. Two people, for sure two people will vote. Yes, yes, definitely. Law has been very nice, very good. Oh, you actually went to harass my... Aha. Okay, people don't support you, support you. That's fine, that's fine. We will survive. I really need to expand this. Because now one of the factions is hostile, is skeptical and hostile, so they riot and they try to create turmoil in the city. Uh, there is a way to actually make a civil war. Ouch, my finger, the family of blah, 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 yes, yes, yes. Yeah, the thing is, as long as you have trust up and you have one or two functions favorable to you, you don't need to worry too much about it. There is a way to, uh, to cancel this. It's automatically canceled when the wide out comes, so I'm not too worried about it. Let's see, what did we find? There are steam cores here. Here, what there is. Yeah. There is steam cores here as well. Let's explore this. And this. This is so stupid. You should not be able to do that, as I said. We can explore this as well. And explore this as well. And this, and this. <laughs> and this, yes, definitely. Uh, there we go. Uh, go here for now. What else? Okay, we can actually connect a trail, but we need more scouts. So what happens, uh, you can actually make pathways towards the city, which allows you to get the resources from outposts. Now, what I think will happen in the, in the full game, uh, the game requires you to colonize uh, a food colony, a fuel colony, and a materials colony. So I do think that you do find three locations where you actually set up permanent colonies and and then these trails need to connect between various places and that's where I, I think this will make the game much more interesting than the than the first one. Yeah, basically this you should not be able to do it. The reason I'm able to do it is because for some reason when you have two of these in the beta, uh, the game thinks that you uh, the game doesn't uh, require you to, uh, it doesn't give you any cost to scout. So, yeah, as I said, it's an exploit, probably. I don't think it's something intended. Yeah, let's see, can we build, can we build, I do want to build the, um, this, this thing. But I need 180 heat stamps. Can I grind you for, uh, no, I cannot. Can I grind you? No, I cannot. That's fine.
We do have a teaching hospital. I want to expand this twice, actually, to be able to get uh, to be able to get two buildings placed there: one hospital and one um, one filtration tower. Okay, let's see. We need to research liberated youth. There we go. Research this. See, we explore this. What did we explore? Uh, we will come back later. Yeah, go there and have a look. Go there and have a look. Yeah. Is there anything more? As you see, there are so many places to to explore on the map. Unlike the. Like the first game, the first game had random locations everywhere. Uh, every every storm, but you see the map is huge. I can still you look. I'm still going and going and going, and there is you can see here there are things. There is uh, coal there. Yeah. So the the frostland map is huge. This is a wide out which is coming to the city. It's coming towards the city, and uh, we need to we need to be able to avoid that in due time. You, where are you? Yeah, the reason why I cannot get them is because I have... Uh, I have two... Uh, two bunkers sending me food back in the city. Yeah, it's interesting how you see the scouts. I do think these are placeholders and... Uh, as graphics, because they, they, the devs do mention that this is a work in progress and... Uh, yeah. So let's see, let's see. Ah, ice blood support us. Yes, this is why you need to have favorable intentions with some of them. So the stewards has set us on a path. Now we walk. Yes, hit to my voice, and you will uh, survive. I hope. In the meantime, I don't want to get funds from someone. Yeah, we're gonna place the silly Chiron works here. People will be pleased, I think, when the time comes. There it is. We need 50 more hit stamps. Uh, will these guys make it in time? Yes, they will make it in time. What do you want? Conservative treatment. Yes, we can. Uh, we can't pass conservative treatment. I don't think it's available here, is it? Yeah, treatment. There we go. Conservative treatment. Actually, we can. Doctors must abide by the traditional oath of first do not harm. To avoid errors, every procedure must first be approved by senior physicians. Very nice. Very good. Yeah, so this is how you, you unlock slowly more loss. And there is this rule uh, uh, that's open up, but you cannot use this. You have the steward's appeal, which is not available. Propaganda, political police, and captain's authority. Basically, you become the captain instead of the steward. And you have the militia, state of emergency, and martial law. So yeah, there is a lot more depth in the game than uh, than the first game. There we go. What did you find? Uh, no, we will not help with that. Uh, I do want... What do I want? I found somewhere... What do we have here? Ten cores. More cores. We don't want steam cores. Steam cores are not something. Coal is good. Yeah, let's get the coal though. I want the coal to be back in the city. We will need the coal when the time comes. Let's expand this one more time. One, two, three. There we go. And can we place a building in the housing? No, we need heat stamps. A lot of heat stamps. We do need to request from these guys when the time comes. 
Yeah, so these two factions are basically split now. We have 26%, 2,900 members of them, and 2,400 members actually of them. Yeah. yeah, we don't have enough housing. We do need to make one more uh, residential uh, area. One more housing district. Let's make one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. We want people to be able to live. Okay. Conservative treatment. Let's negotiate and see with who we can, with the machines. What can we negotiate for you? Okay, we can research this. There we go. Yeah, there are a lot of ways to manipulate the laws if you want to pass them or not. Yeah, basically this round we're trying to keep most of them pleased so that this doesn't go doesn't go haywire. Okay, conservative treatment will be will be next. And we are researching liberated youth. I'm pretty sure one of these two we will fail, but we'll see. We'll see. There we go. Keep moving forward. Okay, we're actually making more uh, material. We do need to place the... We do need to research goods factory. But for now, it's fine. There we go. Protests will uh, collapse now because we we have neutral relationship with these guys. So this will start working again. At this point, I think I think I want to turn off this because this will start working. Deposit nearly depleted. We know. <laughs> we need 22 more housing we do need to expand one more of the of the districts okay uh, we do need to research there are pharmaceuticals parenthood we don't need that now we do want to research this and we promise these guys so it's either these guys or these guys let's keep to these guys who are the bigger part if we keep them happy we will be able to to draw to drain them from uh, from heat stamps yeah let's develop your idea for now Okay, we don't want to set that yet. Uh, what else? What else? Yeah, I think I'm not gonna scout anymore because uh, the whiteout is coming and my people will be caught in the storm. What do we have here? Yeah, leave it for now. Yeah, we can connect the trail eventually. Not now, but we will. Let's see you. You are here. Yeah, we will come back later for you. You. I can't take the course, but I don't want them for now. How much time you need? 13 weeks. And he's uh, coming in 10, 20 weeks. Uh, we do need the time to chat there after, though. Nineteen weeks, yeah, this is risky, but yeah, why not? Twenty-four weeks, no. Fourteen weeks, yes, we can scout you. 
what else? What else? You, how many weeks you need? 28 weeks, no. Nineteen weeks, yes, you are risky, but it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Well, not me personally, but you get the point. I do need to get funds from you guys. Yeah, this is going to be... This is going to not last too long yeah. food is fine we're getting food from these two ration bunkers but i said i do want to build a few things i want to build one filtration tower but let's see but i think the important thing is to build the iron works which will give me material there we go long you need to come back though yeah this is another issue the game doesn't tell you how long you need to uh how long you need to come back yeah we're gonna leave it for now 16 weeks how many weeks until the first no we we don't have the time We have materials and coal here. Yeah, we're gonna come back later after the storm. Okay, this is uh, this is the the infinite the infinite uh, fuel resource. As you see, there is a there is a um, well volcano. There is a small uh, avatar of. What seems to be a generator, I don't know. I don't know. The, the thing is, uh, what I estimate is that you will be building a secondary colony here in the final game. Now, if we investigate this, we will actually end the... Um, uh, we will actually end the beta, because this is one of the endings that you get, and I don't want to end the beta. I want to, I want to exploit it as, uh, as much as possible. The machines are extremely upset that you have constructed another, yes. Yes, we will destroy it eventually. Where can we destroy it? We don't have one here. Let's see, we have a stockpile. Yeah, we will wait until we stockpile. There we go, trust rises. Okay, what else we want to research? New, new work model, Apex workers, machine attendants. Yeah, so many things, man, to to explore and do. I don't want the goods factory though. I don't want to be able to make uh, more goods. Yeah, let's get your idea if we can. Not now, but later. Yeah, heater injection. We have 39 weeks to demolish it. That's fine. And do we have enough residents? This is a question now. We actually need more. We actually need to expand you more. I do think... Yeah, I do want the goods factory, but I also want the housing block, which gives me more availability. Yeah, this gives us more more hit stamps. This gives us 
more shelter. Yeah. Let's wait a bit until we get uh, vote on liberated youth. Let's see liberated. We have 16, 4 and 31 against. With who can we negotiate? Foragers against mostly has done okay let's see can we actually well we can research this we we promised to research we didn't promise we were gonna pass it let's see let's see let's try this and see let's see come on come on please please thank you the law takes effect. The law has passed. We need funds. We need funds from people. Now, can I... Yeah, I can actually... Let's see. We can't demolish it again. To keep our promise to people. They will be happier. We might be able to drown a bit of things from them. Yes. We need... Okay, this will be enough. Pretty sure this will be enough. We need to research heat recycling. Which is the other... Yeah, we need to research this. Which is the other law. We just promised to research it. We don't promise that we're gonna pass it. Which is another thing that you can exploit slowly in the game. Yeah, this will uh, almost be done and done. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we will come back later. I don't want to pick anyone up. All the resources, we will pick them later. Uh, between the first and the second wideout. Yeah, there's a lot of things that we found. Yeah, we cannot... We cannot search more the frost land. We are not making enough goods, which is the, the issue here. We don't need to place two more grinding uh, thingies. Yeah, we have food. We have a lot of food. We don't mind about that. Uh, let's uh, turn you off. And uh, yeah, let's keep you running for a while. Uh, if you're running a bit more 44 weeks well actually now that I'm thinking about it yeah send it back keep sending it back for a while yeah we will come back later for you Okay, we have food there. What else? Let them chat if they can. Yeah, we do need to place... Actually, we need to place two of you, but that's fine. To expand you more if we can one two three very nice very good
Yeah, we are making more coal. We'll be filled in five weeks. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Can you please give me some funds? Okay, I do need to research. I do need to research goods factories, definitely. Who do we want to please? You guys. You guys we want to please. Pivoral uh, respecting me as their stewards. Uh, later, later. Goods, no, we will get them later. The next thing we want to do, we want to connect trails for uh, the coal outposts to sustain us until the other storm, otherwise we will not make it. to make one more of you. And I want to place a fuel depot here, one more fuel depot. Let's uh, put you on half. And let's put you on half as well for now. Yeah, it's fine. No, you will not make it. God damn it. I should not have uh, done that. These guys will die by the time they reach the city. Oh well. Well, that was a mistake. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I don't mind either way. Heat output is extremely increased. There we go. Let's see. I don't mind uh, passing either of them. Even if it doesn't pass, it doesn't... Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. People are still fine. It's not my fault they didn't pass it. Let's see, what do you have? You have this. We will come back later. We will leave you for now. Yeah. I don't want to create one more logistics uh, thing if I can. Let's see. Yeah, this is almost uh, depleted. Okay, we do need to expand this way. I don't think these guys will make will you make it seven weeks you will not make it you will not make it well you might make it it's on week 190 well 180 yeah you will make it actually they will make it. Well, thank God for that. Okay, let's move here as well. Okay, we will make a second logistic and in this logistic we're gonna place uh, the other building which increases the amount of uh, Frostland teams that we can have. 
because that will allow us to to be able to do more stuff. Okay, what else can we research at this point? We can research a lot of stuff. Now, this is not available in the preview, not available in the preview. It's available, but we don't really need it because we don't... We are not able to get... To get so much... Yeah, it does tell you a lot, actually. It does tell you a lot. Now, there is parenthood, and then here there is something... Uh, uh related to relationships you can have relationships on rotation so you force people to be swingers <laughs> or you <laughs> or you force them to marry yeah quite interesting to say the least yeah what do i want yeah i do want to get the apex workers Yeah. Yeah, expedition group has been caught in the white. That's fine, that's fine. People will die, but what to do? Tension is continue machine is a relationship. Mm, you are about to finish researching an extreme research idea. Aha. He was caught trying to destroy documents regarding Apex workers during interrogation. He said, with this research, we opened the gates to insanity and extremity and it should be destroyed. Never thought of it again. Icebloods call him a lunatic not to be listened. Aha. Uh -huh. You're about to finish. Continue and fire researchers who object. Continue but allow object. I think, I think we will continue but allow objections. I don't mind if the research uh, is slower for this. Yeah, we do want to make we do want to make the goods factory. Yeah, that will uh, put us in a positive thing. And we actually you are on half shifts and you are on half shifts as well. Okay, now the storm is about to hit. We don't care about you. Will you be able to make it back actually? Four weeks? I hope you are. Otherwise we're screwed. Can we get funds from you? No. Can we get funds from you? Yes, we can. Yes. Give us the funds. Let's make the goods factory. Oh yeah, I need to expand this to be able to make it. God damn it. <laughs> Can we fund you? We can't fund you can make a promise, we can grant you an agenda, and make a lot of things, but for the time being, we are not making anything. I do think I will need one more housing district. Let's see. We do need one filtration tower, definitely to reduce the squalor, which is notable at this point. Please make it back. There are five days. This reaches in a few weeks. Come on. Ten more hit stamps. Did they actually make it back? I think they did. Mm. 
What else can we pass? We don't want to pass anything at this point, Azelo. Contagion prevention, supported quarantine. We can actually propose this, although people are against it. We don't want that. Okay, let's see. We want this. Okay, people are complaining because we asked uh, for funds, but what to do, it is for the better good. Now prepare for the most kick-ass music that you've ever heard in a game to kick in, in a few seconds. We are fine, we are fine, we are doing fine. Because of the whiteout, storm will be here. We need to overdrive the Jenny. In the meantime. We need to make one more silica iron works. When we get the, the money, when we get the hit stamps up. There we go. We make more boots. We need to remove you from half shifts. There you go. Go on full shifts, both of you. If needs be, we're gonna run emergency shifts. We have uh, 20 weeks. Our call will last us for 7, 15 weeks. Yes, it's fine, it's fine. Let's overdrive the generator. Desperate times need desperate measures. Yes, emergency shifts. We need to make more coal. Yeah, heat injection. We can actually, actually promise that. Pass it.
Just get money from these guys and give it to these guys. Aha. Yes. Mm. A wise use of public funds. No, it's not favoritism. It's called survival. make it just enough this will be depleted in a while they want my mind this awful wretched mind that spawned what they wanted all of us are scum we should have destroyed that research if you want my brain then you will have to scrape it from the wall very nice, very good. Uh, people are not happy about uh, about the law that we passed, about the research. Let's see what we have. Uh, we need to pass this heat injection. Uh, Apex workers. Well, uh, the game considers it as an extreme law, for whatever reason. Uh, this will be out in a few weeks. Can we research something? Uh, there is something about housing heat, which is here, but I need to research the housing block first. Uh, let's see, let's get you guys happy. weeks of coal uh, we will make it I hope we'll wait to 20 no we will not make it people will be getting colder and colder in a while well there is a way to overcome that we can actually shut down this uh, we can actually shut down this for a while to make the heat demand lower can shut down you as well there you go you are out of uh, you're out of coal We can make it. Mm. 
Yeah, we definitely need you enable right now. We have enough food. What we will not have in a few days is uh, coal. Okay, let's see. Hit recycling. Oh, can we negotiate? You want it. You are against. We want. Hmm, I don't think we can pass this. Yeah, we can promise you this, but we don't want... If we pressure them, they will uh, pass it. But the relationships with Watson, with everyone, and I don't think that's a good idea. No, let's vote like this. If it does, we promise that we're gonna put it to a vote, not that we're gonna pass it. The delegates have spoken. Yeah. The law is table. It's not our fault that it didn't pass. Oh, we did promise that we we're gonna pass it. Okay. Okay, I guess. I guess then I have to pass it. Okay. House installation. Hit demand of housing districts is asbestos lining. Hmm. You are forty six percent of the city. We actually want to please these guys to be able to get funds. Let's develop your idea. the logistic district there because we need to be bringing coal in from that side of the map this is slowly going down subsiding minus 100 minus 100 in first part one was like the work in the park yeah heat demand here is working different as long as you have the coal to capitalize, you get the, the heat output. Yeah, we don't have it now, we don't have big tension, which is good. We are tolerated, well, yeah, we're still tolerated, which is good. Oh shit. 3,000 people came in the city. Where can you fit? How much we need? 31. I can actually construct two of these. 
Can I? One, two. Yes. We still have some people without housing, but yeah, we will probably need to build one more. There we go. We still have 11 unfulfilled, but that's fine, that's fine. It will go up. Okay, let's open you up. Enjoy your lurk, Fran. <clears throat> Overdrive. <clears throat> there we go. Uh, get off the emergency shifts. You are fine. Okay, let's see. We need to get the coal uh, from where we can. Yeah, take the coal from there. Where else we have coal? Here we need to connect the trail and we need to connect the trail here, which is closer though. So we connected to coal outposts now. We will be getting, I think, 200, 200. Yeah, that's 400 coal daily. Daily or weekly or something like that. Let's see, what else can we bring back in the city? Uh, we don't want more people. More people will be a deficit at this point. We do want some other stuff if we can. Yeah, take the goods. Take the coal, and that's about it for now. Yeah, let's turn on. Okay, can we actually pass the heat injection? Okay, actually people are supporting it right now. Yeah, let's vote it. This will be almost out of resource. We need to expand this. I do need to frost break more. Yeah, let's, let's go this way. more food to come in this is depleted completely how about you yes you can actually bring us stuff we 
We can make one. Uh, um, hmm. Can we make? We need to make a material depot. Place it somewhere. We can place it here as well or here. It doesn't matter where we place it. It's just that we are overfilled with goods right now. With material. We can also research uh, from the society watchtowers that will give us 16 guard outposts to help us with crime. Yeah, let's turn off the overdrive. Now, did you connect this? You did, and you did, okay, we do need to construct logistically one vanguard logistic which will give us 15 outpost teams, and this will help us with getting resources back in the city. An angry doctor came to complain about the Inertia created by conservative treatment. We lost three people last week because of the fossilized procedures of our senior staff. I could have saved them, not those outdated dinosaurs. Don't let more people die because of the fusing of you old men. No, 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 no. Rashi procedures need to be followed. Okay, we do want to, we said we do want to expand this. Yeah, let's wait a bit. I don't want to place one more uh, housing building somewhere here. Ration bunker depleted, it's fine. Coal came, we're getting resources back let's see can we actually enable this yes so that's one that's two okay very nice very good where else we have a coal uh, depot no we don't want you we want the course though and this course you can wait here yeah, what do we have coal and materials yes we will come and get this later one fifty hit stamps that's fine that's fine <laughs> This will not last us forever, 112 weeks. But we are stockpiling from uh, from the coal mines and from our mine and from the extraction district. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully we will be fine until the next store. Let's see, what else can we pass as a law? Let's see, you are more, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to displace people at this point. I don't want to place this though here. I don't want to expand this and make one more uh, coal depot.
Uh, you will be out in a while. Okay, what else can we research? We have prisons if we want, which we don't want. We have parenthood, dedicated motherhood, or communal. Uh, communal bad parenthood. Yes, why not? Let's make people happy. Okay, let's expand this as well. Uh, what else can we transport? 5,000 material and 10,000 coal. Bring it back. What else we have here? No, we don't want you. 10,000 food. Ooh, okay, I actually killed the guys. They tried to bring the food back and they got caught by the whiteout. Uh, there goes our resource. Well, you can't explore this and this. This is so stupid, it should not work, but as I said, it's an exploit that you can do in the beta, which I think it will not be possible in the final game. just lost 10,000 foot. That was so bad. Exploits. Okay, we don't want you. Okay, this is the permanent uh, fuel source, which we don't want to explore right now. We want to just drain whatever we can from outside. Uh, you can go here. You can go here. Let's see what do we have. Cores. No. More cores. We don't need cores at this point. No more cores. Uh, food. Yeah, go and explore that. And this. It's a shame we lost all that food. That's a shame. I should not have done that. Yeah, basically you should not be able to do this. Uh, this is something that you can do in the beta for whatever reason when you when you research a certain tech. But since we are at it, and this is the last thing, let's uh, exploit it as much as we can. Since we have it. What do we have here? Nothing. Nothing, I think we explore this. What else? Okay, coal we need. More coal we need. What else? What else? What else? Here, no, we don't want the people. We don't want that. That's fine for now. Okay, we have crime because of nation population size. Yeah, we do need to create one more housing district. One, two, three, four, five, six. I do want to place one guard tower if I can. Patrol watchtower. Communal parenthood. Aha, uh -huh. let's see. Icebloods won't negotiate. Machinists will negotiate though. What do you want? You want us to repeal this. We can actually research scout training. That we can do. The eyes have it. OK, 
Okay, we did promise you... Let's develop this. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. What can we do? We can... Uh, what promise we can make? Yeah, we can research machine assistance, attendant, it's fine. If we get the time, that is. Mm, we need more stockpile for... Uh, for the fuel, actually. Can you go on half shifts for now? Yes, you can. Yeah, let's try and bring more food back. Uh, yeah, let's harvest this for now. What else we have food? That 10,000 rations was a shame we lost them. Uh, we don't want the steam course. Yeah, let's get this as well. Need more fuel depot. can we get we don't want more people right now we don't have the okay thank you thank you everyone is at neutral relationships we are accepted we are not tolerated we are not despised It could have been a bit better, but yeah, what to do? This is life, Celery. Uh, I really do need to place one fuel depot somewhere. No, uh, but where, where, here will be nice. We need to research machine assistance. Oh, this is actually here. Yes. is extremely increased by nation population size okay so I do suppose I need to place one more guard tower somewhere a tool will a tool will be nice if we can Economy wise, we're doing more than fine. We're doing more than fine. <laughs> yeah, we're keeping these guys on half shifts. We don't want them to. We don't want them to overkill themselves. 
Yeah, I do want to place a watchtower somewhere. Here will be nice. And we can research prisons as well. I suppose that will help us with crime. As you see, crime is at, uh, is notable. Let's see, mechanized scouts, yes. Let's research, let's put it to a vote. Majority of people want it, so it's fine. The delegates have spoken. The law takes effect. There you go. Now, can you give us some funds? 390 hit stamps. Thank you very much. There is absolutely no reason for you not to get the hit stamps from them and uh, and put you in a situation where you cannot actually be getting stuff. Very nice, very good. We can actually... What do we need? I do want to... I think I do want to research the prisons. Yeah, there we go. Crime is significantly... Greatly dis decreased. Tension is increased. No, we don't want tension. Class will fall slightly. Yeah, th this is actually the most beneficial, it seems. Either from these guys or these guys. Now, the thing is, the majority of people are these guys. So, we want to keep them pleased at this point. So, yeah. Let's research that. I do want to expand this. <laughs> Can we actually bring back anything from these guys? 10,000 food is nice. No, this is the permanent uh, source. It will, uh, will actually cause us to end the game and we don't want that. We have food here. What else we have? Uh... Okay, we can actually connect the trail and lead us to the city. I think is where is the city? Yeah, there it is. This will take forever. Can I? Yeah, you can't call you. This is an interesting thing which I find that I am not sure how this will work. You can actually connect to a different trail, and this will uh, will actually connect to the city. So. You can connect branches from the trails that you do, and there is also railroads that you can explore. Yeah, this will be out of it in a few weeks. I do want to place one more uh, fuel depot somewhere. There is fine, because this will get full in no time. Yeah, let's uh, put you to normal shifts as well. Crime is minor. Squalor is minor. Uh, one more uh, um, filtration will be good. We do need to expand this though. We want to place a second building. Yeah, we can put these guys on half shifts. They are already producing at this point and we don't want them to. And yeah. Basically, as you see, the, the game is much more interesting in terms of mechanics and stuff and what to do. 
Desperate mother. Stuart, we call it a desperate the woman after she broke into the city nursery, she stole a baby, she claimed it was her own, of course under communal parenthood law, all newborn are taken from their mothers and assigned new names, there is no evidence uh, her her child. Uh, I know it's him, I recognize his cry, the guards suggest a harsh punishment for the woman, they fear such incidents will become more common, however the technical demands will show leniency. Okay, give biological parents visiting rights. Yes, people will be happy. We're doing more than fine. Okay, what do we have here? Coal, yes. Bring it back. No, we don't want you. Can we explore this as well? Yes. Anything else? We did cover this side of the map, I think. And we did cover most of the map. This we can explore. How much in 25 weeks? I don't think we have 25 weeks, do we? 10, 20, uh, yeah, more or less, but yeah, not worth it. Just gonna kill the people here, how much you need. 28 weeks. 23 weeks, no, I think that's the extent of what, what we can, uh, we, we can explore for now. 10,000 food there. You can go on half shifts. We are bringing food from the outside as well. You are ever since I've, we introduced the liberated youth gatherings, groups of young people have started forming around the city. One such group calling themselves the C13 Collective has come with a request. Yeah, these guys want to make a, a, an art decor in the city. We can actually fund it if we want, or we can deny. Yeah, we can actually fund it. Uh, for 10 weeks we won't be gathering enough hit stamps, but that's fine. They will make a very nice thingy here. Now... Uh, what else? Machine attendants. Can we negotiate with someone? Forages, what do you want? Fun projects? I think we can do that. Yeah, the rest of the hesitant, I do hope two people will vote for. Very nice, very good. The proposed law has been approved. A lot of progress. Can we get funds from you? Thank you. And we want to fund projects for the foragers. Very nice. Now the technocrats are supporting us and these guys are against us, but yeah. This is the, the beauty of this game. You turn things around every now and then. Now what the hell do you want? Relationship greatly improve. No, we don't want them to improve. We can actually research and ask them to assist the research if we want. Yes, hello, Yoshida. Yes, it's a game after all. You know, the moment you Start treating it as a game with mechanics and stop treating it as a moral uh, thing, you know, even though it's good to treat it as a moral thing. You you need to exploit the mechanics that are available to you. 
I don't know how long you've been watching, but for example, uh, there is a there is a bug. I do think is a bug that you can get infinite scouting without any cost. As you see, I have so much scouting teams, which in theory the game shouldn't allow me to do. But there is a bug in the beta that if you have uh, two survivalist headquarters, you actually get uh, you actually get zero cost for uh, exploring the frostland. Yeah, things like that, and you know, you you get funds from one, you you increase relationships with the other, etc., etc., and you try to keep a balance on uh, on who to please and who not to please. Can you actually give us funds as well? No. Let's close this. Okay, we can uh, set an outpost here. We can set an outpost here. Yeah, we don't have the time to... We don't have the time for that. What I'm not sure is if you have a trail. Yeah, I'm kind of lost. The map is huge. The map is huge, man. Yeah. What I'm not sure is... No, we don't want the cores. The cores are not needed in the current state of the game. Oh, there is a city. Yeah, there is a coal outpost here, and I think I think I did see. Yeah, take the food. Okay. Yeah, what I'm very interested in exploring more is the. Did I not activate you? No, I didn't. I need actually 10 teams to activate you. Yeah, what I'm really interested in exploring is this uh, coal... Uh, is the paths that you create. Basically, is uh, is like in Frostpunk 1 on the edge where you make safe roads for people to bring resources to the city. Yeah, this I'm pretty sure is a placeholder thing. I don't think that's a final thing. Yeah, the game will end in a few weeks. Unfortunately, it only runs for 300 weeks, so we are close to ending this. There we go. What else we have? Communal, uh, yeah. I do wonder if I can research anything else at this point. Relationships, mandatory marriage or relationship rotation. Yeah, you actually force people to be swingers. <laughs> or you force people to marry. Uh, which one, which one? Yeah, let's try and keep these guys a bit, uh, a bit happy. And we can actually force these people to assist with research uh, because we have favorable terms with them. Yeah, I do want... Did I expand this? I did expand this. Uh, we could break further up and make one more logistics over there. If we want the monument you funded causes trust to rise, yes. Very nice, very good. People trust us more, we're actually accepted. I think the last part is worshipped or something like that. Mandatory marriage has been put on the agenda. There we go, mandatory marriage. Let's negotiate with someone. Okay, you are open to negotiate. What do you want? Yes, we can fund your projects. Here you go. Vote. Past the marriage law. Uh, even if you don't love someone, just get married. The eyes have it.
If you improve the letter, they might get campaign in your name. That's fine, that's fine. Where is machinists? Yeah, let's fund the projects. It's fine. It did cost us uh, an admin elect to fund that, but it's fine. There we go. Work gets shredded to pieces. <laughs> Stuart, one of our workers, was caught by in an accident involving a steam hammer. Since machine attendance is enforced, no one has the ability to, nor the authority to stop the machine. Per the legislation, a danger to humans cannot compromise the well-being of any device. Uh, let's see. Occasional fatalities will occur. Yeah, death is something that might happen. And that's a risk that I'm willing to take for you. We have 16,000 people in the city. Having a few die is, uh, is not an issue. Yeah, we can research. We can research the railways. If we had 100 hit stamps, which we funded someone else. Uh, It's actually these people are actually the biggest in the group in the in the city so I am wondering whether it's better to actually keep these people happy than anyone else I guess this is something that we need to explore in the official game release yeah let's uh, clear this carry on what do you have here food steam cause we don't want them Okay, we have material here, we have food here, more material, yeah, I'm pretty sure you will need to, this will be, this is fine, more material, we will come back later, yeah, the... No, we don't need it. We will come back later. We will come back later. And so many things to do. A 10,000 foot here, which we cannot take. Now we need to make trails for this. Yeah, you do need to um, create trails for uh, every other material except except for hunting. Yeah, the thing is that when it's depleted, oh, you can actually close it. I was under the impression you couldn't. Well, that's my naiveness in the game. I was trying so hard the last time to... Uh, to dismiss this and it wouldn't but now yeah i don't know if they fixed it or if i was doing something wrong before okay okay i guess i guess i just didn't know how to do it okay what can we build Then I research prisons. I think I did. Let's see, let's see. So many things to research, so little time to do it. Railways. Harvester hangars. Transport houses, waste management facilities. There are a lot of things to to do, man. Uh, 
A rail hub is not available, I think. Housing distribution. Yeah, hit stamps income. Yes, why not? How many weeks? 147 weeks. Yeah, it might last, it might not last. Okay, let's uh, make one more logistics district here. We don't want you, we don't want you. Very nice, very good. Yeah, but yeah, the the Frostland map is huge, huge, huge. I mean, really huge, yeah. So far, here is just a replica copy paste. So you find Hills Valley and uh, mountains and uh, and seaside and whatever. Uh, they're mostly replicated. I think this will change for the release. I do think this will be changed for the release because you are supposed to find. Uh, uh, you see, there are more things here. You are supposed to find uh, um, permanent uh, fuel colony, food colony, and materials colony. Now, uh, for fuel, we do know that it's here. Uh, sorry, it's this one. If we explore this, uh, uh, the game will end. We'll get one of the endings. But we don't want to do that. We want to time out. We want to reach the timeout ending. Yeah. I was seeing a lot of reviews from people uh, being disheartened and disappointed about the game. They say that it lacks. It lacks depth and it lacks the beauty of Frostpunk 1. The thing is that I think they are doing it an unfair comparison because they are comparing the story mode with uh, with this. Uh, these are, uh, these you should compare it with Endurance from uh, Frostpunk 1. And it is much more engaging in my opinion than Endurance. There's so many things to do and ways to do them and uh, how to expand the city and the city actually can become huge in, uh, in cover all this area so yeah i do think that people are not giving the game justice the only complaint that people have prominently is about the ui they they do find the ui a bit taunting for them but then again it's a uh, once you get used to it, I think it's fine. The thing is, yeah, probably it needed to be a bit bigger, let's say. But I don't have an issue with the UI personally. The only thing that I would like to have explained to me a bit is how um, how the hospitals, for example, uh, work. And how this works and the ratios of having uh, patrols and hospitals and this affect the city because for now, it's just a very general uh, description, greatly decreased by guard squads or uh, absent disease because we have uh, this and this and this. Yeah, it's not really clear how how it is be how it is affected, which I would have liked to know. Merit housing, merit-based housing, hit stops income per capita is slightly increased yeah let's see who can we please can we what do you want you want us to build a mechanized sawmill yes we can do that we can promise and not build it or build it and then demolish it so that we keep our promise the proposed law has been approved very nice very good now there is an extraction district somewhere but we can't build that one is here the other is here i think i'm gonna go this way uh, 
I did put these guys on half shift because they were making too much material. Let's see. These guys are devoted to us. It is wise for the steward to listen to them. Yes, I know it is very wise for me to listen to people. Yeah, we have 20 weeks left. We have called for 141 weeks. This will not be the case when the storm hits. Uh, this will be over needed. What do you want? The flesh is weak. May I touch the steel? Can I fix a machine like this? Will it tell me human are inefficient? But we are truly re replaceable. Inefficiency is a slope whereupon one slides either downwards. That is why the machines cannot stop. Just suffer for now. We are being accepted. People trust us. Wait, did I research mechanized sawmill? Or I did research the normal sawmill. Yeah, I did research the normal sawmills, yeah. That thing which is not clear and you find it, well, not the hard way, but eventually, is that you can actually research all the options that you have on the tech, uh, on the idea tree. Yeah, let's uh, develop your idea and uh, cause good relationships. Hopefully, I don't think we will be able to to get in in time. Yeah, can we build a trail? We did build a trail here. Yeah, let's uh, construct and see if we can actually get coal, more coal back. Okay, the wideout is about to hit. This is not producing anymore. We need to demolish it. Let's hope this will last us for uh, for the wideout. We have 23 weeks. We do need to research the charcoal kilns at this point because that allows us to get coal from the from here. There we go. Mandatory marriage steward controversy in disrupting the word of our scouts. A certain high ranking officer remains unmarried. Preferable <laughs> the bachelor lifestyle, long grey style brows in the cops, but his defiance even after marriage was made mandatory has caused this scandal. Other officers refuse to be seen in his company and subordinates request transfer to other division. Only his aid. Hello, here's the remote. Yes, I know. I know. I know. We're just exploiting a bit uh, the mechanics that I found. Uh, Relation slightly improved with ice explosion. Yes, it's extremely decreased. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. There we go. Okay, we do want to research uh, charcoal plants, but we want to research the one which give us bigger coal outpost. Coal output. Uh, let's see. Ice bloods. Ice bloods probably. Yeah, there are a few bugs. Uh, bugs in the game. For example, you have infinite. Uh, if you place two survivalist headquarters, you have infinite uh, scouting uh, without any cost. You can cover, you can scout these, you can scout these. You see, there is, there is no cost for uh, scouting teams. Okay, what do we have? We have actually unfulfilled. Uh, we have actually unfulfilled. Uh, 
everything full, everything is full. Yeah, we can place a few buildings, I suppose. Uh, we have an isolation prison, which should help. But this is what we want at this point. Yeah, the recent research which in theory reduces the heat requirements for the houses, but actually increases the heat requirement for the houses. <laughs> yeah, there are a few bugs here and there, but it's a better we, uh, you know, give uh, we give uh, we give the dev some slack on that. Also, another thing: if you start placing a district and you place it on top of the of the resource that has been uh, recovered, you know, as your first tile, then there is uh, the the district will say that no resource available, even though you build a housing district, for example. Yeah, there are a few things here and there that don't quite work as they should be. Okay. What shall we research charcoal plants? I do want more coal output if I can. But yeah, I've been playing the game uh, for over the, over the week, you know, trying a lot of stuff. I do mean a lot of stuff that you wouldn't usually try, just to see how this works. That's interesting how we have uh, input from two sides coming in. Although that's a road network, it's not a rail uh, road. Well, it's not just the beta available in the deluxe edition, you also get the three DLCs which will be coming up. Um, uh, so, so yeah. You also get the DLCs which will be coming up. Who is the bigger portion of the of the pie? This guy's. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's overdrive. Our call will last us for five weeks. People will get very upset about it. We could actually shut down a few districts. This, for example, we can shut it down so that there is no heat demand. And this, we can shut it down. And uh, we can shut down the logistics as well. And we can shut down you as well. And you as well, so that our heat requirement goes lower and lower we have a new law to pass no uh, no i don't think we can do anything more yeah we can actually shut you down as well and you as well yeah we do want to expand you. Well, expanding you there is not a good thing, but what to do? Okay. Yeah, but I think the game will end by the time we reach that state. Yeah, there you go, guys. This is the the preview for the new Frostpunk game coming out in July. Uh, I have found it to be much more interesting in every term than the first Frostpunk game. Mechanics are much more uh, interesting, engaging, and abusable uh, in that way as well. Especially the way factions work we are respected we are actually respected 
We will run out of coal in a few in a while, but can we actually make one more coal uh, thingy? No, we actually need more hit stamps. Come on, give me the hit stamps. Uh, if we turn off the generator, all this will become red. People will get upset. They might try to overthrow us, but we don't care about that at this point. There we go. More coal. If we can. We are making shit of coal. 180. People will freeze to death. Yes. That's fine. Three more weeks they can survive. Yeah, I suppose by this time you're supposed to be getting fuel from the permanent source. The thing is, if we scout it, the game ends. And I wanted to... to get this done and done. Aha! We can actually get funds from you. We can fund your projects. We can fund your projects. What else we can do? We can grant you an agenda. Okay. We can make a promise to you. Can we actually build it before the game ends? Here. No, we have one week left. To get this to maximum. People are freezing, but we are respected. No, god damn it. We do need, uh, I think, with the machines, you do need to. Um, you do need to research. There is a maintenance hub, something like this, yes. It's a hub which helps you with maintenance. It is wise for the steward to listen to them. Yes, cold is uh, cold is a problem. And there we go. This is the end of the beta. So there are two endings in the in the beta. This is actually not considered to be a proper ending. One ending is when you find the permanent fuel source. And there was a hint from the devs a few days ago that there is an ending that people still haven't discovered is when and is when you actually make the city go in civil war. But uh, I've been trying it the whole week, to be honest. I got it close, but the wideout actually stops the riots and I wasn't able to do it. So we haven't seen that yet. I think there is very little time in the beta to be able to get that ending. So it must be quite a challenge to get it. Basically, you need to keep everyone displeased long enough and not get overthrown until they start uh, breaking things everywhere. But yeah, this is, the, this is the end of the beta, guys. And as I've said, I'm really looking forward to, to the full release of the game in July. We will be streaming the hell out of it if everything goes well. But yeah, there's a story mode which is not available in the preview. And uh, as I've said from the beginning, uh, for those who are not here, you know, you only have uh, this map available uh, for the for the beta, and there is hard and extreme. I did play hard off stream, 
It is quite difficult. Uh, I would say more difficult than Frostpunk one. Yeah, I did get uh, I did get to the end though uh, three times when I was trying it. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to what the future holds. Uh, they do hint that there are uh, one, two, three, four maps uh, that will be available, which only one of them is available in the preview, and each one has their own uh, properties, etc. So I'm really looking forward. I do suppose that in the official release you will be having a preview of how the map looks, which is not available in the in the beta. Yeah, and you do have also various modes for the Utopia Builder. Colonization is the one that uh, the game wants you to to run, but there is also Utopia, which has different requirements. There is also Population, which has different requirements. And Prosperity, which has different requirements. Yeah, this is basically stockpiling stuff. But only colonization is uh, available in uh, in the mode. Yeah. yeah. As you see, it's, it's also stated that it's a placeholder. There's a watermark here that the background is a placeholder. So yeah, I do suppose that it's gonna be like that. And also, you get the hint about other factions. You will have workers and merchants, lords and thinkers as well, which will be interesting to see. But yeah guys, this is the end of the stream, we did uh, take it slowly and uh, explore the game as far as we could, I did explore it off stream throughout the week, and I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time. In the meantime, take care, and thanks for joining.